first off is Charles J. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, uh, ain't no motherfucking introduction, I'm jumping straight to the shit. Listen, you motherfuckers better be glad. Uh, my goddamn phone died, a lot of complications, so it gave me time, because if I had a, if I had a done a video as soon as the decision, and as soon as I've seen all the shit that I've seen, Listen, it, it wasn't going to be good, but I've calmed down just a little bit. But listen, um, these are my post-fight thoughts. Devin Haney wins by unanimous decision, and I got a lot of shit to say. I don't know how long it's going to take, but um, first and foremost, I want to address my... Yeah, this going to be the call-out session today. Normally, I, you see, normally I don't mention motherfuckers' names, but I'm going to call some names today. First and for, uh, uh, foremost, uh, reporting Ellie, uh, setback. Uh, listen, bro. Uh, leave, just leave Devin alone, bro. I know you not hugging Tank right now, bro. I know right now he the only black fighter you fuck with, and you kind of fuck with Wilder, but you really kind of quit fucking with him after the Fury fight, but you still kind of act like you fuck with him. Bro, listen, just, just, just fuck with Canelo and do your shit over there, bro. Uh, stay out of black business. That Devin versus Tank shit, that's a black affair. Stay out, stop playing messy, bro. I saw y'all in Loma Chico locker room. You was trying to lift. No, you were just doing that because Tank and uh, Devin got a situation and it's personal. And, and and they really ops. So you trying to play a little side. Bro, stop doing that. And then I seen where you, 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 um, I, I seen you interview some dude, some, some motherfucker. That motherfucker had bananas hanging out of his motherfucking pocket and shit. And you asked him, uh, I don't know. You must, you must have gave that motherfucker $20 and a half a joint and a, and a banana or two because he was happy as shit to tell you, uh, I'm a Devin Haney fan, but now Loma won. Uh, he was robbed tonight. He should have got the decision and all this there. And I see all you motherfuckers trying to point out, uh, baboons to say that, uh, Loma won and it's a disgrace. And I, you motherfuckers keep finding every black person you can find to say listen shout out to Ant uh, anthony yard shout out to anthony yard that's why let me tell you something bro you got some slave blood in you yeah I, you say you from nigeria now nah, you got some slave blood your, your shit come back to america yeah you got some ancestors come from these fields from these cotton fields and shit because you was a true brother and i knew that shit when you first started so shout out to you for staying on code uh shout out to blue blood a uh, shout out to champ side shout out to those brothers it, it, it's a couple more uh, if i missed you shout out to you no 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 and it ain't even about no lies it ain't about no lies it's just about truth shout out to y'all for speaking the truth and not feeling pressure like you gotta lie and and do this uh so-called first shit let me tell you motherfucker something and i know i'm breathing real hard and shit because boy you motherfuckers don't know i'm holding back yeah, I'm holding back because I'm real mad right now. I'm, I'm really holding back on you motherfuckers. But anyway, um, if I was to be the fairest I could ever be, which I'm not fair, and I won't be fair in this assessment, but if I was to be fair, was this a close fight? Yeah. Uh, did Devin dominate the fight? Nah. Did Loma dominate? No. Who won? Devin. Yeah. It's no doubt in my mind Devin won that fight. Yeah, I could see it 8-4 or 7-5. Yeah, uh, preferably 8-4. So, yeah, uh, all this uh, weird shit you motherfuckers doing. And listen, I knew Timothy. I knew I knew what you motherfuckers were going to do. And um, a lot of you motherfuckers didn't shock me, but some of you motherfuckers did. Some of you motherfuckers did. Oh. Oh, Shakur. Gots to get you, pimping. Listen, uh, I've been letting you make it with that Puerto Rico shit. <laughs> that shit over with. This shit personal now. Listen, bro. You and David grew up together. This was the one moment for you to be on code. For the last couple months, I don't know if some of your fans been tweeting to you and telling you some shit. I don't know if you and Tank done made a deal together and y'all done shook hands behind the table that we gonna say fuck David Haney and we the best and we ain't gonna put him up there with us or some shit. Uh, Lomachenko is considered one of the best fighters. Bob said he the best since Ali. Now, I said in my video, uh, the prediction, I think he the best white fighter since Willie Pep. No, I always thought he was a great fighter. So, it's, what's the, it's like it's a shame that he had a close fight with a great fighter that got a lot of experience. 
What's the weird shit? Nobody's giving them credit that, hey, man, you pulled off a close fight with a great fighter, with an all-time great. You pulled that shit off. There's no credit. There's no credit. You weathered the storm when shit did get greasy and he was landing different combinations. You fought back and you landed vicious ass hooks to the body and you caught him with hit hooks to the head and spent out. You fought him back. And one thing about it, see, this is why I got to tell my hat to you. And, um... I, t I predicted that this wasn't going to be no boxing match because Devin knew if I box this motherfucker, they're going to say he ran and they probably would have gave a, a decision to Loma because they would have said he was, he was the aggressor. So now he fought him. He fought him and he stood his ground. So uh, he did that and he still don't get uh, credit because when you stand your ground, you're going to get hit. Yeah, when you're on backup and you take the fight to somebody, you're going to get hit at times. So, because he got hit at times and he landed his own shit and it was a great fight. I thought you motherfuckers love boxing. Yeah, yeah, I, th I thought you I thought you motherfuckers love. And listen, I, listen, to the Mexican fans out there, listen, I know most of the time, listen, and it's some of y'all folks, and to the ones that fuck with me, shout out to you. But I seen y'all in the crowd and I know most of the time when it's a black and a, a white fight, just like y'all cheer for Fatback. Remember, that's the same uh, arena where they boo wild and they cheer for Fatback Fury and he's from the UK. So it's it just, it just the same shit y'all normally do. So just like y'all boo Devin Haney in his hometown. And y'all cheer for Loma, and he's from the Ukraine. So let me break down some more shit before I get off this motherfucker. When Devin went to uh, Australia and he had to fight Cambosis, everybody said, bro, you're going to have to win by 10 rounds. You you are outside, bro. You you fighting in his country, and he got the belts. You got to win at least nine rounds. You got to win nine, ten rounds. That's what everybody told Devin, honey. And he went in that motherfucker and won 11 or 12 rounds on Cambosis. And we still said that wasn't good enough. So what I'm saying, and then they said, well, he still might get robbed. But like, as if he got to understand because he's in that man country. Why don't apply the same way to other rounds? Loma's from a whole nother country. You fighting in his hometown. He got the belts. You got to take it from the champ. Well, I've never heard nobody. I, I, out of all you baboons that I've heard say Loma won, y'all never say he took it though. When you're a challenger, you got to dominate. There were, I have heard nobody. Everybody say Loma won, but you never said he dominated. When you the challenger, you gotta dominate the win. You gotta take it from the champ. He never, he never defeated uh uh Devin. He had good spots, had very good moments. Uh, he had a good round in the eleven round. He had a good round in the seven. He had great rounds where he really mixed it up and he did great little angles and shit. Yeah, he fought a great fight, and I think Loma put on a great performance. And like I said, all that slipping and he's old and all that. Th no, I never went for that bullshit. But the double standards. Listen, um, <laughs> for me, I think, um, yeah, you got the belts, but really, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did I? Hold on, hold on. I got out Shakur. Let me get back on Shakur. Uh, Shakur. Uh, yeah, you said Loma clearly won 8-4. And you said Devin ain't got nothing for me. You was talking shit to him. Because I've noticed you you started this shit talking to Dev and this and that. And, like, it's a little thing going and shit like that. Um, you know what I would love to see, bro? I would love to see. Why won't you fight Loma? Since you think he won and he's the greatest. Why, why do you didn't call out Loma? I would love to see that. And you want to know what I really want to see? I want to see you, um... Uh, yeah, try to turn that into some Puerto Rico versus Ukraine. Wear your Puerto Rican flag, and I want to see uh, how much cheers you can. And go back to that same Madison uh, 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 MGM Grand. Go back to that same uh, uh, MGM Grand and fight Loma in there. And when he throw up his Ukraine flag and you throw up your Puerto Rican flag, see who get more motherfucking cheers, bro. So, uh... Yeah, I've been letting you make it with that Puerto, Puerto Rican shit, bro. And I, he young and this and that. Nah, but bro, that, you was a traitor when you done that. And nah, I tried to let that shit ride, but you was a traitor when you done that. So for you to shit, and even though he in your weight division, bro, it's it just a code of it that's like, nah, bro, you know he won that fight, bro, but you play for the camera. In my eyes, you, every, all you motherfuckers that saying he lost that, you motherfuckers know he won that fight. You motherfuckers play for the camera. You motherfuckers play for the camera. Because one thing we know about boxing, a black fighter got to completely dominate to win. 
If we don't completely dominate, and even when we completely dominate, it still ain't good enough. We still should have landed a few more left hooks. We should have went to the body more. But Devin Haney went to the body like a motherfucker, throwing hard-ass hooks. We don't talk about none of that. So, at this point, listen, I can talk a lot of shit about Mexican fans, and y'all always ride with the white boy. Y'all gonna always ride with white folks, and you love working for them. And it's a lot of shit. I can say shit about Chinese. I can say a lot of shit about a lot of other non-black motherfuckers. And I can say shit about the white boy, because one thing, white folks gonna do what they do. Yeah, you got damn right, uh, Max Kellerman said uh, Loma won. You got damn right, Bob Arum said Loma easily won. He dominated. He said it wasn't even close. Bob Arum said that. Yeah, the same one who been trying to act like he was praising Dev. And remember T.O. said he's promoting black fighters. Bro, you better believe Bob gonna stay on code. Nah, just you baboons don't know how to do it. So, um, and like I said, I, in, in my heart of hearts, without even uh, no biasness, I feel like Dev won that fight. I just feel like it was a close fight. But yeah, he won. Um, and even you motherfuckers who think it was a draw or some shit. What's the disrespect for Devin, though? If it was a close competitive fight, why we ain't cheering on both fighters for putting on a great performance? Uh, yeah, and matter of fact, one more. Yeah, uh, showbiz. I seen you pimping. Uh, you know, listen, bro, you're very entertaining. Shout out to you. I wish you the best. But you said some shit to go along and get along, bro. Y'all do shit for subscribers and followers, bro. Y'all do shit because you don't want to offend nobody and you want to seem as, as honest and you want to go with whatever you think the white structure say because you just want to be a good boy. When you said boxing let us down, to go so far as to say boxing let us down tonight, bro, that's some of the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. Man, what's that dude, man? Um, Damn, I can't think of his name. Um, Bro, I've seen some way... I've seen way worse of shit, bro. I've seen fights that motherfuckers dominated, completely dominated, and lost on the scorecard. So to say uh, boxing let us down, bro, and you never, never once said the fighters, the fighters, they, they made boxing exciting tonight. The fighters won. The fighters, the fans won because they seen a great fight. You motherfuckers disgust me, bro. And I'm on some one deep shit. I don't fuck with you motherfuckers. Uh, I don't trust you motherfuckers. And like I said, uh, I, I expect mainstream media to do us like this. I, ex I expect fight high. I expect all them motherfuckers to do what they do. I expect them fans to boo. I expected that. I, I expected all that. But at the, at the end of the day, um, you know, us as black content creators and us as fans, like, we got to stand for something, bro. We got to stand for something. And I ain't going to let you motherfuckers just dry ass wrong him. Because like I said, even though he got them belts, um, that was a loss tonight. When you get booed in your own hometown and they boo you like you done something wrong, like you didn't put up a great fight. Nah, bro, that's sad. They let you know what boxing is about. And everybody can come together to praise white Jesus, which is Lomachenko. And you motherfuckers is baboon, and there ain't enough fruit in the world to feed you motherfuckers. This is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.